sin a plus cosecant a the whole square plus cos a plus secant a the whole square equals or we should show that this is equal to we have to prove this prove 7 plus tan 7 okay that's that's like a really uh, I don't know it seems like a totally random number over here 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a okay nothing immediately strikes me I'm just gonna start seeing what I can do the 7 makes me feel like I'm gonna get maybe a pair of a few sets of sine square theta plus cos sine square a plus cos square a maybe or, or I should get seven of them though to show that uh, I get seven over here um, let me see one one clue I have over here is that I have sine cosecant cos secant over here these are all reciprocals of each other and I have tan and cot over here so maybe one approach I can take is to try and write these eventually in terms of this but as always I'm just going to try and first simplify on this side and see what see what happens i'm just going to first get rid of cosecant and secant i usually always get rid of them first i don't think it's a good idea but i just do it so i'm going to have sine square a plus so i'm just going to write this sine of a plus one by sine of a the whole square plus if i do the same thing over here cos of a plus one by cos of a one by cos of a the whole square Whenever I solve such problems, I always wonder how they come up with the questions like this. Anyways, that's that's not part of uh, this video's discussion. So sine square a plus 1, this is sine square a plus 1. Uh, if I multiply this sine a over here, sine square a plus 1 divided by sine a, the whole square, plus cos square a plus 1 divided by cos a, the whole square, Hmm, I have a feeling I've made uh, actually negative progress because I now have, if I had, I, I was kind of hoping to get one minus sine square, that would have been useful, but one plus sine square, huh, I don't really know how that's going to be useful to me. Let me think, what other identities do I have with me? Uh, I do know that um, one plus tan square is uh, secant square and 1 plus cot square is cosecant square so one thing I can try to do and especially given those two are on the other side is maybe I can try and divide by those in the numerator and denominator by um, uh, sine square a maybe cos square a and then I can see what happens I'm just going to try that now I'm going to try and divide this by cos square a I know it looks a little bit ugly I'll, I'll rewrite that in the next step so I'll have to divide this also by cos square a and then I have to divide this also by cos square a that seems to be i'm actually not convinced this is going to lead me anywhere so i'm going to pull back on that uh, and i'm going to go back over here and see what could i have done better like my strategy was to convert cosecant into one by sign could i have done something else could i have divided by something at this stage itself would that have been useful because if i divide this by cos theta then i get tan a cos a rather tan a plus one by sin a cos a uh, that's what i would have got or cosecant a by cos a hmm. that also doesn't seem like it's going to lead me anywhere uh, if i'd done something similar over here that doesn't seem like it lead me anywhere as well okay uh, another thing i could do is not do any of the simplification but actually just try and expand these out like act like i have no idea what's going to happen i'm just going to expand those out and see what happens maybe i'm, I'm going to try that now because i don't like all of these denominator things that are coming here i'm just going to expand so I'm going to take all the way from here, right? And let's let's start doing this. So I'm going to have sine square a plus cosecant square a plus two times sine a into cosecant a. a plus b, the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. And this side will come, I'm going to write it down over here. Let's move down a little bit. I have a feeling we're going to scroll a lot in this video. So cos a plus secant a, the whole square. So that's going to be, let me use a slightly different color. Cos square a plus uh, secant square a plus two times uh, cos a into secant a. I now understand where the seven comes from. I thought it has to have seven pairs of sine square cos square. Not really. We already have four over here because sine a and cos secant a is going to, they are this reciprocals of each other. Cos a and secant a are reciprocals of each other. Uh, sine square a plus cos square a is um, 
one all of these are getting added right so this is going to be equal to one so yeah i actually feel like this is the right uh, i'm i'm beginning to feel that hopeful here this seems like the right approach so i'll get one for these two these two will go away and i'll get a one plus these two will give me a four so one plus four plus cosecant square a plus secant square a in other words i get one by sine square a plus one by cos square a let's go down even further so we know how we got here so we can we don't have to remember that so this part of it was a failed attempt so let's go down over here so 1 plus 4 plus this we have let's simplify this one let's simplify this and see what happens so 1 plus 4 which is i'm just going to write 5 now 5 plus because i i'm tempted here to do um, cos square a plus sin square a but let, let me go look at the right rhs just once for a moment right i mean what is the RHS? It has a 7 in it. Hmm. And oh, okay. I, I have a feeling I know what to do. Okay. So I should not do this. I think this is not a good idea. Uh, because uh, uh, that's this is not what the question on the RHS is wanting me to do. But it has a 7 there. So I somehow need to bring 2 more here. But I know how to do that. Because cosecant square A is 1 plus, tan, 1 plus cot square. And secant square is 1 plus tan square. That's the identity it wants me to use because that's what's there on the right hand side. It doesn't want me to go back to the sine square cos square world. So I, as you notice, I have a temptation to convert cosecant and secant to sine and cos all the time. But that's not always good, always useful. So I'm going to write cosecant as 1 plus cot square theta and secant square A as 1 plus uh, tan square theta. That's right, tan square theta. The two identities that I that I know. And now I have it. So initially it looked like 7. Why would it be 7? But now I understand. So 5 plus 1 plus 1, 7. Plus cot square theta plus tan square theta. You've shown it. That is equal to the RHS. And if you were writing this in a more um, exam -y way, you would probably uh, not show all these wrong routes that you took. And you may give more reasons for what you're doing. And it might slightly look longer. But the method is, is clear over here. Oh wait, this this is not this is not theta. This is a, right? I I can't change the angle right in between. That that would I mean even though you probably got they weren't confused by this, but I still think it's it's good to uh, change this. Cot square uh, not theta again. <laughs> Cot square a plus tan square a, and that matches exactly with our RHS seven plus tan square a plus cot square a.